What up, everybody? How you guys doing today? We are currently in Florida, staying with Cody. Oh. We got some footage from last night when we first came in. Check it out. Hey, we're back in Florida with Cody. Let's, Let's go. go. We got Julie in the back. Oh. One of these days, you're going to be here permanently. And it's not going to be like, oh, coming to visit. It's just going to be like, yeah, permanently, I'm here. I guess I'll just say it now. Uh -huh. Julie and I came out here and we're actually going to be looking at apartments. Maybe houses too. I don't know. Nothing is guaranteed. We're just looking. Bitch, you're moving out here. We'll see. But guys, I have some phenomenal news to tell you. Cody fixed his glove box. Yeah, he got so some flower <laughs> tape. Yeah, it's not sticking too well though. <laughs> so this is just temporary until I get a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Do you got to get that bitch soon? We're, we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. Cody's growing out a mullet. You can see yes, it kind of hanging out the back. Yeah, if it smells like fish in here, uh, I forgot to wash my pussy. Today. <laughs> yeah, you better close your fucking <laughs> legs. No, I went. Uh, I was fishing right before I came to pick you up. So yeah, he that's got why the my smell a little stinky in here. Fishing pull back air. How you feeling back air? You tired? Yeah, I'm tired. It was like a two and a half hour flight. Not too bad. No, it was like two hours and that's, three minutes. <laughs> that's what I just said. Oh, you said thirty. I thought. I said two and a half hours. Oh. That's like <laughs> what? Dude, I think she's tired. <laughs> I said three minutes. Hello? <laughs> anyway, how's the smell back there? It doesn't smell like anything. No? Well, that's good. That's because my girl's clean, bro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You're not. I, wa I wash it. My side girl ain't clean right here. Wow. <laughs> I clean it. Damn, bro, this stereo bumping. Yeah, this is my jam. You want me to turn it up? Yeah, man, turn it up a bit. Wow. <laughs> All right, as you heard us say, we're potentially looking at places out here in Florida. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> Me, Cody, and Julia, we're gonna go check out the apartment. Obviously, Cody's not moving in, but he's gonna drive us over there and uh, check it out with us. Julia and I got this new skincare product. I'm peeling a bunch from it, so that's cool. I guess it's a good thing. Yeah. It's like peeling off a layer of our skin. Yeah, get that fresh coat. We're like snakes out here. So we looked at an apartment. Eh, didn't like it. Honestly, I'm really over the whole apartment thing. I really just want a house. I really just want to own something out here. So, we're going to check out a house right now. It was literally like the nicest one in the area that is for sale right now. Literally every single nice house other than that was already on a contract. Like someone's about to buy it. Or it's new construction that hasn't even been built yet. Obviously, we're trying to move out here like ASAP. So, I'm hoping this is the winner. I got good vibes so far, but obviously, no, we're going to see what happens. Okay, we just saw the house. I'm blown away. I fucking love it. It's beautiful. Like it's perfect. very, it's very nice. It's very it's nice. Very nice. Like very nice. So um, <sighs> shit, man. The cool thing is the house comes like fully furnished already. So like that's not even something that we have to worry about, which takes obviously a lot of pressure off of us. Because at this point we just kind of like put an offer in and see where that goes. And Cody's getting a Tesla. Cody's gonna, <laughs> Cody's gonna try placing an order for a Tesla today and we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. They might they might be like, nah, your credit sucks ass. No yeah. Tesla for you. Or they might be like, okay, we'll see what we can do. We'll, <laughs> uh, it's all automated, isn't it? Like I, Yeah, it's all online. So you don't, honestly you don't have to go there, but there's, there's not even a Tesla near you, is there? I think the cl I think there's Tesla dealerships near me, but I do know because before I test drove the one in Jersey, yeah, I was looking at test driving one out here, and the closest place that I could test drive on was all the way in Orlando. But I think there was a, a Tesla hours. dealer. I think there's Tesla dealerships down here. You just can't test drive. Gotcha. So. But they're in like the mall, I think, right? I think yeah, I saw one in the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I think they're mall. But that also means that they don't have any cars there in stock. So you yeah. would have to get it on, like, shipped to you anyway. So yeah, your best bet is probably just filling out. We're, the we're gonna do. Online. We're gonna do a little bit of research. See what comes up. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up taking a drive to Orlando or something. All we'll right, we'll see. We'll see. Might hit Disney on the way. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know when you're in the zone. It's that moment where you feel like you're at peak productivity, and no matter what you're doing, you're getting it done. Whether I'm working out, gaming, or even recording, I need to be at my peak and locked in. And that's why Roman, which is actually today's sponsor, has released Roman Focus. It's a nootropic dietary supplement supplement with ingredients that support calm energy, mental focus, and overall cognitive function. Roman's in-house team of doctors obsessively researched ingredients to formulate a high quality supplement. Roman Focus is composed of a proprietary blend of caffeine, L-theanine, and American ginseng, and more. With just two capsules, you can improve concentration, memory, and mental acuity. If you're ready to lock in, go to GetRoman.com slash Lance for $15 off of your first order of Roman Focus, plus free two-day shipping. The link is also down below at the very top of my description. 
description. Go check it out. All right, the moment of truth. Cody just uh, filled out his application for the car. <laughs> yeah, I just got an email that said, nah, not today. Try again, fam. All right, bet. <laughs> Go, no. Try it tomorrow. <laughs> I haven't gotten an email yet. We'll see what happens. Standing by. We'll see. I'm trying to fix my credit and everything. It wasn't the best. I made a lot of poor financial decisions in my younger days. Yeah. So, but we're trying to, trying to get back on track. Uh, all right, so Cody just got his fucking email about the Tesla. We had a feeling. Yeah. Congrats! No! Ah! He, he got approved. Let's go. Your boy's finally getting his Tesla that I worked fucking so hard for. And oh, uh, yes, I'm excited, man. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm happy excited. for you. Let's That's go. so sick. Now I don't have to ask you. I mean, if you still want to buy me a Tesla so I can have two, that'd be pretty dope. But I don't have to ask you to buy me a Tesla anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boy finally did it. I'll think about it. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Bro, I'm so, I'm so happy. What's also funny is something Cody just told me. So uh, we gotta give a little backstory. Yeah. Julia bought me and herself a, a book about like two months, no, nah, about a month ago at this point. And it's this book where you write down like daily affirmations, kind of like stuff that you want to happen for the day. So for example, it'll say like three amazing things that you would like to happen today. And usually, you know, you just write down some, some things that kind of like set your day in a place and like things that you want to happen. Cody got a book as well. He bought one for himself. Hasn't been writing in it. I'm like, bro, you got to start writing in it. Like I'm telling you, it helps a lot. It makes me feel good. It kind of like helps me plan out my day instead of just waking up every day with absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So he wrote in it today. Mm -hmm. This is the second time he's ever written in it within like the past couple weeks. Show him. Today's date, 9 2022. Daily affirmations. I'm a millionaire and I own a Tesla. Let's go. Boy is the owner of a Tesla. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm so excited, man. <laughs> but yeah, we write in those journals every single day. It's been helping a lot. Yeah, it has been. For What's sure. You, what, you saying hi to Jax down there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like giving me cute little eyes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of you guys don't know this, but if you watch me on Twitch, you would know. There was um, like a two-month time period where I was... I don't want to say I was depressed because it wasn't that deep, but I was getting there. It was, I was just bad in like a bad mental space. When I started writing into this book after like three days, I feel like I did a complete 180 and my life just started changing for the better. I was waking up every day feeling like I had no purpose and uh, it, it, it's really nice. It just helps me change my day around. So like you don't even need this book that we have if you just wake up every day and write down on a piece of paper like three things that you're grateful for, three things that you would want to happen for the day, and then like daily affirmations like like I am, for example, I am loving, I am caring, I am smart, smart. confident. Yeah, exactly. Just like I am affirmations. You write down three of those. And then at the nighttime, you write down three amazing things that did happen that day. And then you can write down something at the end like, uh, you know, what could I have done to change today? And I wrote down a lot of things at first for those things. Uh, like what could I change that I didn't do throughout the day? But most of the time lately, I write down nothing like, like, Today was a great day. There's nothing really that I needed to change about it. Most of the time though, I do write down like vlog, vlog, vlog. Like you don't vlog enough. So that's something, you know, we're trying to get back. We're gonna be grinding while you're out here though, Hell baby. Yeah. We're gonna be on that vlog grind. We're gonna Hell be yeah. on that stream grind. Hell yeah. Let's go. We're gonna, we post one video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the only video for the month, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Subscribe for more. <laughs> guys, do you see this chemical burn that I have? It, it literally looks like I got sunburned, but me and Julia got this new retinol product and we've used retinol products before. They help like get rid of wrinkles on your skin. Not that we have any right now, but we're just protecting ourselves for the future, obviously for when we're older. I don't know why it gave both of us like a burn right here. Here. I know these are like sensitive areas, obviously near your eyes, but no product's ever done that before. But I don't know, we just gotta be careful with this one. It's cause you put moisturizer on over it and then you rub it like this. So it got like all in your eyes. Yeah. It's making my skin dry, not red though. I have a couple different theories as to why it happened. We also use this other cleanser that we haven't used in a really long time. That's true. Which is very strong. So I think yeah. the combination. Out of nowhere, we just started using all like our skincare products again, like hardcore. So yeah. that's probably why. I mean, we, we use skincare every Every day yeah. but we've settled down on the amount of products that we use recently because we, had like, we had like ran out and then we didn't buy new ones we but had like a strict routine like retinol sunscreen moisturizer uh everything serum um oils like all of it yeah so recently we've just been kind of using like maybe like one serum and then like a moisturizer yeah and like a sunscreen sometimes less is more true, true. i just put semen on my face that seems to do the <gasps> honestly oh i've heard that's really good it's hey, full of protein. I have no pimples. I do have blackheads on my nose. I should probably start applying some more there, but it seems to be doing the job. There you go. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> no problem. Oh I'm at your service. <laughs> that's why Cody loves me being here. Yeah, that's why I love when Lance comes into town. Healthy skin all the way, baby. Oh my God. Natural facials. 
<laughs> all day. Facials for everyone. Wow, we just got home and Cody's dog ripped up. They jumped on the counter and grabbed the bread. They pooped on the car. Well, this is a potty pad, actually. But look at, I don't understand why it's like perfectly on the edge. Like three drops. Jesus. I mean, they, they still made it on, which is good. Mans is just out here exposing, like, my dog shitting on the potty pad, getting into the non-bread, like, shit. Yeah, bro, why bread is it, like, non-bread, though? Like, how did you make bread that's non-bread? I don't know, but what I don't understand is how there is an uneaten piece out of the bag. She must have literally just gotten into it as soon as we came in. The yeah. Door. By the way, a lot of people are not going to understand that joke. Um, this is actually called non-bread. That's actually going to be called trash bread now. I mean, you might as well give it to him at this point. No, 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 no. We're not giving her a whole freaking thing of non-bread. We're gonna Free naan bread for everyone. No, Lance, she's gonna eat that. Pick that up. Ooh, it's foggy out here. And it just keeps refogging back up. We just hit a workout. Uh, yo, we can't beat this fog right now. Ah. Ah. Why is it so foggy? I know, bro. It just keeps happening. I, like, I've done this, like... Dude, it's because it's been raining and it's so humid. Yeah. I guess I'm coming in to talk. Do you want to come in me? No. Oh, okay. Obviously, we saw the place earlier today. We really, really liked it. I knew this was gonna happen. They're asking a very high price for the house. I, I don't think it's worth that price. So we went in at a little bit of a lower offer, but they're being very firm on their price and they're saying that like, uh, this is more of like a sales technique in my eyes. They're saying that like, oh, somebody came by after us and you know, they're, they're willing to pay full price cash. I just kind of think that's BS. So I'm just gonna stay firm on my price. If they accept, then sure, we'll move in. If they don't, it's whatever, we can just keep looking. On the bright side of things, should we tell him, Cody? What? We're getting married. Yeah, we're, we're in a domestic partnership and we also are expecting, we have a kid on the way. Yeah, you yeah. can see he's in the tummy right now. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, thanks. Oh shit, there he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, he's freaking walking around with his bull like it's a chew toy. Yeah, look at this thing. Yeah, it's all it. messed up. Yeah, that's why he's got the metal bowl, which is what we like feed him in and, and water him in. But Jax destroyed his other crate, so Cody had to buy him this prison. like basically prison yeah, cell. It's, it's Alcatraz. <laughs> he, dude, he would. I'm telling you, he would get like um scars. He gets, he's got scars on his noses from nudging the crate and bending the metal. Oh my to god! Be able to get out of the crate. So yeah, this, this thing's that, no joke. It's, it's sturdy. It's literally. It was three hundred and fifty dollars indestructible it's supposed to be good for high anxiety dogs which jackson has i don't know why the good news is he has been able to get yeah down. and he likes going in it like he goes in no problem yeah but right good he, boy he definitely doesn't like being in there yeah he gets anxiety you can tell like he starts licking his arms and oh. stuff like that get down that's why his paws yeah that's why his paws are soaking wet right now yeah, so we've been <laughs> thinking about trying maybe like bringing him to the vet and seeing if we can get him on some sort of medicine to help with his calm him down a bit yeah we've tried like all the other techniques yeah it's not working so mm. well the actual real news so we talked about the Tesla we talked about the Tesla delivery date was they were saying November November the lady from the Tesla dealership in New Jersey because we went I didn't show you guys but on Cody's vlog we went to the Tesla dealership in New Jersey Tesla. and he test drove the model 3 mm -hmm. which is what he's getting so she reached out and she was like hey congratulations on your order blah 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 if you have any questions about delivery please let me know I said is there any way I can get my Tesla sooner than November <laughs> So she was like, let me see what's available for inventory. I guess at the Tampa location, they have a car that is the exact same one that I ordered. It's used um, a bit. It's used, it has 550 miles. Not bad. Which is not bad at all, but it's the same exact car. And she's trying to see if I can get it today. Yeah, Maybe literally. Don't pick it up today. This man bro, I, I am a Tesla owner. Today, today. Look. And I might actually be owning and driving a Tesla today. today. Literally, worst case, it would be like tomorrow, tomorrow. or the next day. Yeah. But like, it's better than having to wait a whole month. Like, I'm willing to sacrifice 500, 500 miles, miles yeah. to be able to just get my Tesla and instantly just like yeah. that instant. That's literally nothing, bro. It's, it's not a lot. Yeah. It's and lot. obviously, it would be a used car. But what's crazy is a lot of these used Teslas are actually going for a couple grand more than what they actually bought it for. Mm -hmm. Because people don't want to wait the four weeks or whatever it is to get their Tesla. Yeah. So they're way willing to pay more for a used one that has 500 to 1,000 miles on it because they can get it so much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. The demand is just, it's ridiculous. So I'm curious right to now. see if they'll waive that fee for you since they don't have to make a new one 
or I mean, time will tell. I'm waiting for her to reach back out to me. So yeah. I, I texted her back and I said, I don't think you understand how excited I am. <laughs> Yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, this is sick. Yeah, I'm excited too. Because that means for the next two weeks that we're here. We're going to be whipping the Tesla. Let's go. We're going to be going to Miami in the Tesla. True. No, bro. We got a lot of stuff to tell them. So basically, yeah, uh, we're going to be going to Miami later this week. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be there for like... Couple days. Yeah, like two or three days. You know, check out the beaches, eat a bunch of food, just live life and Do have like a fun time. Do like the touristy, like Miami thing. Yeah. Miami's a lot of nightlife, but like we don't really go out and party, so we're just... Be fatty. I'm sure there's so much other stuff that we can do there. We'll have to like look and do some research when we get there. Yeah, for sure. We're sharing a bed in Miami. Julia's sleeping on the cot, and you and I are getting the bed. See, I I, I was kind of trying to keep it a surprise, okay. making my clickbait, you know. Well, we yeah. gotta conceive this baby somehow. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> it's now an hour later. An update on Cody's Tesla. Unfortunately, you cannot get it tonight because they close very soon. We're like an hour drive, so that's not gonna work. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna get the Tesla. And right before we get the Tesla, we actually found another house that was just listed. It's pretty dope. It's actually going for cheaper than the other house was. And it's actually closer to the area that Cody lives in, which is pretty dope. Obviously, if I'm gonna be out here, you know, I wanna be close to my friends. In the meantime, I do have some footage of when me and Julia went to to Austin, Texas. We went there for like three days, but Julia has been dying to try this place called Crumble Cookie. I don't know. It's like this big TikTok trend. Apparently they're supposed to be like really good cookies. They have like all these different flavors. I don't know. Check out the footage. All right, here it is. They even got a little TikTok logo on it. How cute. <gasps> oh my God. So what do we got? We got a Fruity Pebbles sandwich. Sandwich. You can see this like layered. So it's breakfast themed week. And then we got a donut, glazed donut, a waffle. With Obviously, they're syrup. all cookies with syrup. And then this is banana bread. Mmm, they smell so good. They smell good. What do you want to start with? Let's start with banana bread. Banana bread, good. Oh, <laughs> it's a giant cookie. I know. It's like a thousand calories in each cookie. Mm. Good? You like it? Mm hmm. Oh, I like that. Mmm. I like that. That's good. That is good. It's not like overly banana. The frosting's fire. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I look so tired because we were traveling all day. Yeah. Let's do waffle because I've been dying to try this one. That's going to be messy. We're just going to dunk it. We're going to dip it. Yeah. Why yeah. not? You're really going to keep that big slab of butter on it? No. We're dipping it in syrup. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's making a mess. Oh. Mmm. Interesting. It is interesting. It actually tastes like a waffle to me. Let's rate them. What would you rate the first one? Mm. I have a number in my head. Banana bread, I'd give it like an 8.5, 9. I was going to give it a 9. Mm -hmm. What do you give this? A 7 that I wouldn't get again. <laughs> yes. I know what you were thinking. Yeah. Because it's not that bad, but it's not like, oh my god, amazing. It's funny because every time me and Julia rate something a 7, we say whether we would get it again or not. Because there are some times you get a 7, you're like, you know what? I get it It's again. not great. But like, I would get it again. Mm -hmm. But there's some sevens you would just like never get again. And I think that's one of them. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I think people overhype that one. Yeah. What is this, donut? Wow, look at the back of it. It's glazed. Oh my God. Yeah. You want to both bite at the same time? Sure. <laughs> I like it. Kind of better than waffle. It's better than a waffle, but I still rate it like a seven. Yeah, a seven that I wouldn't get again. <laughs> This one's huge. Well, good thing these flavors are only there for a week. Yeah. This one's Fruity Pebbles Sandwich. Yeah, look at the middle. What do they have in the middle? Is it cream? I don't know. I feel like this one's going to be good. It's going to be like a refreshing flavor. Oh, <gasps> open it. That tastes like Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh. The frosting. I like the cookie itself, though. It's okay. It's a nice texture, but it, I don't know. The best one here is the banana bread. Banana bread by far. And I'd give this like a six. I can have another bite of banana. i give it like a five. Yeah. Four. You mm -hmm. like that? That one really is good though. Mm -hmm. It's fluffy. It's creamy. Oh. Uh? It's like light at the same time. That cream though. Oh yeah? It's so good. Mmm. The cinnamon on the top. I like donut. A lot of people online didn't like donut, but I like it. I think it would be better if it was more fresh. Like if we ate it there instead of getting it delivered yeah. and the glaze didn't dry up. Mm-hmm. I think it would have been better. Well, now I have a stomachache. I'm sorry, but look at how big I'm picking it up because we're probably not gonna eat it. Not eating that butter. Look how big this piece of butter is that they put on the cookie. Overall? Oh yeah, what would you rate it overall? Overhyped? Oh, I knew it was overhyped before I even tried it. Yeah. But they're just cookies at the end of the day, you know what I mean? But like I don't think it's overhyped that they do have a new flavor every single like yeah, four I think new that's flavors cool. every week. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Yeah. And it's fun to try them. Yeah. I love that that <laughs> the banana. The banana bread one's so good. So good. 
Police, open up! Oh my god, Lance. Woof, woof, woof. woof. It is now the next morning. We're in a rush. Oh my gosh, that sun is bright. That's why I'm finishing my sandwich as we leave. Woke up a little bit later than I expected. We should make it there in time. We're going to the house right now to check it out. You guys see? It's like getting worse now in my eye. It's not getting worse, but now it's like scabbed up, so it kind of looks worse. I think my wallet's in the car, hopefully. Cody forgot his wallet somewhere, so he's trying to find that. All right, we rushed to get here, right? We just made it in time, and as we're pulling up, our real estate agent pulled up as well, knocked on the door, and they thought we were coming tomorrow. Bruh. Which, which wasn't the case. I guess the agent told us the wrong date and time. They said we can come back in an hour. I mean, the owners of the house are still there right now, so uh, we're gonna just drive around a little bit. They're gonna get food, because they didn't eat yet. Like I said, we were all rushing to get up and get ready, and, uh, after that, we're gonna go pick up Cody's Tesla. Yeah. But from the outside, it looks amazing, this house. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this house better than the other house. And not only that, this one's also in a gated community, which is really nice. Julia was craving a smoothie, so we stopped at Tropical Smoothie Cafe, but this looks like an older one. Still gonna be fire, though. I, I actually might get something, even though it ate. Oh, I know you're getting something. Yeah, because I love, I love me some smoothies. Julia and I used to come here to get a smoothie and then get like one of these sandwiches. We did it for like a couple days in a row. Yeah. And I would literally fall asleep every time after I ate it. Like, guaranteed, it just knocked me out, put me to sleep. When was that, like during COVID? I think it was like near the end of COVID. Yeah. When things like started opening up again. Yeah. Because we didn't realize we had one near us. It was like 15 minutes away, yeah, not, not too far. far. They have these edible lime straws here that Julia wanted to try, so she just bought one. I saw it all over TikTok, so I just got it. Wait, is Thank it God lime, you said that. Lime it's lime flavored? flavored. Yeah. And you eat it. You can like eat it or just drink out of it. Yes. I wouldn't get that because like a lime and peanut butter, that's oh, just yeah. not something Yeah, it doesn't good. go on his. It doesn't sound like a good combo. I got the banana boost one. It's got banana, peanut butter, chia seeds, dates, a bunch of stuff like that. It's so hard. He just got peanut butter and whey. Mm -hmm. it's so hard. Hard. What did he say? Yeah, I got the triple berry oat, so this won't taste horrible. You won't bite this up. Bite, it, bite a small bit. Good? Just Fine, yeah. Is it sweet? Kind of. You want to bite it? So much for a straw. I'll bite of my straw. <laughs> oh, damn. You took a big <laughs> bite. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It kind of tastes like Pez. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I'll keep my regular straw. Yeah, it's you're, you're going to need it. Straw. Yeah, I'm going to eat it before you finish. We just got done looking at it. I liked it, but it's not as homey of a feel. You guys know what I mean? And obviously in the next couple of years, Julie and I are obviously gonna have kids. It didn't seem as safe for children. Funny story, I told you guys how I felt like it was like a sales technique that they're like, oh yeah, we have like another offer and they're gonna pay like full price basically for the house that we saw yesterday. I knew it was a sales technique and I knew they were just messing with me. They came back lower, but it's still not the price that I, I quite am willing to pay. So we're gonna try and negotiate a little bit more and who knows, maybe that will be the house that we get. Bro, it's like scanning Cody's face right now and it just, it just said you were an infant. She's like the little baby in the cradle. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Oh. Mama! He's drinking. Mommy's milk! Mommy's milkers! <laughs> <laughs> we're about to go get the Tesla, and then after that, we're actually gonna go back to the other house that we saw yesterday. Just as like a little secondary inspection of our own, just for look, just look for like little chips on the walls and just you know the fine details and make sure that there's nothing that maybe we missed yesterday because we were like distracted. The agent was like showing us around. You're that guy. You're that Mitch, guy, you pal. were already doing that this morning. Don't even come at me with that shit. You, you are that guy, pal. I'm that guy, pal. Oh, here we are. We're pulling up to Tesla. I think that might be it right there, maybe. The whole truck just pulled out with them, too. Yeah, and there's another one that's going to be coming behind us that's full of them as well. That's true. Yeah, we just saw we it on the, on the way. Damn, mad deliveries today. There's Cody's car. Yes, sir. Let's go. Dude, it looks so beautiful. Alrighty, so here it is. My new Tesla. You got the best one you can get of the Model 3. I know. I'm hyped. Julia, you got seatbelts on your, uh, engraved on you. <laughs> Unlock. You can do everything from your phone. He's got a carbon fiber trim in the back. Nice. Dude, I've worked my ass off for this and it's happening, boy. It doesn't even feel real. <laughs> ah, and there's the other truck, deliver more Teslas. This is actually a pretty big space. This is bigger than the one that we have in Jersey for sure. The mirrors just came out. There you go. So now I think it's unlocked. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Ooh. A little potty pad. Yeah, a little 
Oh, so clean. Oh, it's like 100 degrees in there, bro. It's like 100 degrees out here. That's true. Congrats, Cody. Let's go, baby. Whoa. Oh, it's hot. It's like a cloud. It's, it's toasty in here. These seats are so comfortable, though. Wow, it's comfy as hell in here. The air is only coming out of the... Oh, no, it's coming out of these vents. So you can Remember, adjust... you can adjust it. Yeah, you yeah. can adjust up and down, see which way it comes out. So if I want to hit my knees, Whoa. do like that. Or near my face. <gasps> yeah. Look at the wraparound roof, oh. bro. Yeah, it's sick. And it's tinted, so. It's so oh, sick. It's so nice. Seat heaters, definitely not in Florida. No, definitely don't need those. Oh, this is a lot to take in. Hey, okay. glove box works. Is my car on right now? Yeah, and then when you step out, there's no shutting off. You just, you just leave and it turns off on its own. Okay, all right, well, you wanna head back towards the house? I'm ready to drive this thing. Should we take a test drive first? No, I just want to see the speed, bro. We'll do it when we get back. We'll do it when I we get back. I gotta wait a whole hour? Yep. Oh, yeah, they, did they give you a key? Yeah, right here. That's cool. The keys? Yep. But they give you actual keys too, don't they? Like a like a physical key? Yeah, that's I don't think so. All right, well, Cody's gonna make us wait. Yep. All right. There he goes. How was it? Fucking amazing. You love it? I'm literally in love, yeah. It's it's crazy. You wanna go for a ride? Yeah, you gonna take me for a spin? What the fuck you doing? Let's go, get in. Uh -oh. You're outside the car right now. Yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. Oh, nice and breezy in here. Look at all the camera angles. Did you put it in ludicrous mode? I don't know how. It's in here. sport mode. Oh, is there not a ludicrous mode in here? I don't here? know. I think it's just sport mode. Like if you go to driving, yeah. it's just acceleration is oh, okay. sport. And steering mode is also sport. There's a track There's mode. There's a track mode customized, but I don't know what I'm doing with that, so I'm not gonna mess with that right <laughs> Drift now. Drift preset? I, yeah, we're not drifting this thing. Sick. Not today, anyways. Maybe for a future video. Is it fast as f? Yes. Is there like a launch mode or no? I don't know. Both. No, it said motor reduced, so I think you just stay off the brake and you just floor it. That's Ooh, fun. Dude, and it's it, so smooth. I feel my whole body like going to, I feel like my organs shift yes. when I do that. That's sweet. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Push you right back into the seat. You have the ha cameras up at all times too. Yeah, there might be like other modes that are even faster. I, I just don't know. To be honest, I haven't really done much research on this car. I just know that I really wanted one. <laughs> it's gonna be a, a learning experience trying to figure everything out with this thing, but dude. How do you have the brake set? Does it, does it um like stop so when you like, let the brakes when off? when I let off the brakes, this uh, is. You have the regenerative. Up it's high. turned on, yeah. Yeah. Which I, I, it's not as bad as it used to be in the older Teslas, so I actually don't mind it. Cool. It's actually like perfect. Like when you're slowing down at a stoplight, you don't even have to like step on the brakes. I mean, yeah. obviously, depending on how fast you're going. True. Sure. It does just pretty much slow right down. Does this area charge the phone? I thought it did. But you also have a case on it. Oh, yeah, maybe. And my case has a magnet in it, too, so that could be causing it not to work. So I'm not too I mean, sure. I'm yours, got, yours has a wallet on it, though. What do you well, just pop it off real quick? Get your wallet, it's lanceu10.com. First link in bio. Look how easy it is to pop right off. Uh, oh, yep, it charging. Is. Yeah, so it's my case that's stopping it from charging because I got the, uh, the mag know, safe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that sunroof. That's my <laughs> <laughs> That Those sound like yours. Yeah, they nice do. and nice and tight. Yeah. <laughs> nice and tight. <laughs> Wait, isn't the zero to sixty in a Model S like the older ones with the ludicrous? Isn't it only like two point nine? No. Or something like that? No, no, no. It's like two point six. Oh, is it? And the newer ones are one point nine. Yeah, one point nine nine. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot faster than the BMW. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's for sure. With the blown motor. <laughs> Everything's faster than that now. <laughs> the freaking little electric go kart you got's faster than that. Yeah, thing. for real. That torque on that thing is crazy. It is. It, yeah, that thing gets that up and up. goes. All right, this is about to be our final decision whether we want the house or not. Yep. This will determine it right now. We're on our way. Yep. Right, let's go. All right, we just viewed it again for the second time. It was amazing. It's the beautiful. Second time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't the first. Well, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> no, it was both times. <laughs> it still like wows me. Yeah, we love it. Uh, we're gonna it's, put in an offer. Yeah, it's so homey, it's perfect. Yeah, well, I mean, we already put in an offer. Obviously, they declined it, and then they came back to us, so I might budge a little bit on my end and meet them at their price. <laughs> You're like, oh, shit. 
Yeah, it's surreal. This is dope though. I mean, I'm excited. Yeah. And the neighborhood's super nice too. There's a lot of very, very nice houses over here. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you did. We will keep you updated on what happens next. So make sure to turn on my notifications and subscribe so you don't miss out. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.